Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am in Dublin once again. I'm here with Lindsay this time. Do you want to say hello? Hi. Hello. You've not been on my channel for quite a while. So, so, so if well. anyone has the like, introduction. yeah, this is my friend Lindsay. She's used to be quite a regular face and then COVID happened and we couldn't go anywhere for ages. We used ages. to go places, but this is my first trip, any this is my first time in Dublin and my first trip anywhere like post COVID, so I'm very excited. And I am also very excited. So we are staying at a hotel called The Wren. I found it through somebody else's vlog. Not too expensive. We've not been in our room yet. It's a bit, the rooms are a bit sort of citizen name. They're quite small. We've just dropped our bags off and it's beautiful. I took some clips inside, so I will insert them. but they've got this area outside that's, it says no smoking, so it's not like this is a smoking area, it's just a nice little like outside seating area. Um, so you come down off the street to get to the hotel, come down the stairs and that's it there. For now, we're going for cheese toasties. Meltdown was as excellent as ever. They had some great music playing, but it was very much copyrighted, so I couldn't really vlog in there. Lindsay went for a toasty with macaroni cheese I went for the Hey Presto. They were both absolutely beautiful. I was really, really pleased that Lindsay liked this place as much as I do. Um, but I think that may have been helped along by the fact that there was a certain Moira Rose on the wall, who she is a huge fan of. From one famous face to another, we went from Meltdown to the Oscar Wilde statue. En route, we saw some of the beautiful doors of Dublin, which are always stunning. Passed through St Stephen's Green, and then we actually went back to the hotel. We grabbed donuts from the rolling donut. Did I take a picture of the donut? No, but here's a picture of the bag. And I did not show you the hotel room for whatever reason, but this was our view and it was beautiful. I absolutely love this hotel, would 110% recommend. For dinner that night, we went to Vincent Burger and then we did a bit of a Dublin pub crawl. This is my first time, like, although I've been to Dublin quite a few times now, this was my first time actually kind of going out in Dublin. Really, really enjoyed it. We got some recommendations from Peter, who runs the channel Walking with Peter. I will link him down in the description box. He was really, really kind, sent us over some good recommendations. So we went to the Stag's Head, then we went into kind of Temple Bar proper. And then we ended up getting an ice cream before we came home. So all in all, a very good night. For our first stop on the Sunday, we've come to Lidl. Because this little has Viking ruins and ruins of an old theatre underneath. So this is the plaque for the Viking ruins, if you want to pause it and read it. And I will show you them on the floor. It's so much bigger than I... Oh, that's amazing. It's just so weird, it's got kind of 7-Up reflected. I know, it's like, it's, so it's like, here's a supermarket aisle. And here is, right. And, and here are some Viking right. ruins. Yeah, well, that people clearly do. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> there's a well of some sort. It's very cool. And these are the stage runes, so again, you can pause here if you want to have a read. Do you feel safe? I, I think so, yeah. It's quite disconcerting, but it's very cool. I don't know if I want to It's fine, go for it. Oh no, I don't like this. So we have come from Lidl to the Viking ruins to Dublin Castle. Because today's obviously our culture day after the eating and drinking of yesterday. So this sign is telling us that in a room above this archway, Dublin Castle was formally handed over by the last Lord Lieutenant of Ireland, the Viscount Fitzalan of Derwent, to the Provi Provisional Government of Ireland, led by its chairman Michael Collins on the 16th of January. From Dublin Castle, we went over to the Christchurch area, had a quick look at that. 
and then went into the Bull and Castle for our Sunday lunch. And if you are ever in Dublin on a Sunday and you like a Sunday roast and you're not vegetarian, please go here. It is phenomenal. So we just went here, the Bull and Castle. Um, so it's on Lord Edward Street by the Lord Edward Pub. Is that are these bells? <laughs> across the road from Christchurch Cathedral which you can maybe hear at the moment but yeah so we just had our Sunday roast in there and it was divine I want to eat it all again it was possibly the best plate of food I've ever eaten it would you? honestly was <laughs> yeah. I, I can't I can't <laughs> express how good it was just yeah. if you're in Dublin just go yeah and it was 1950 for the Sunday roast for the plate of food we ate like I can't believe we got that for that price that was to like the prices of other stuff. Yeah. Like, really oh, ah, like 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Thanks to Emer Nestor's Sunday Roast Potatoes podcast for the recommendation in the first place. Says it, but it's actually true. After our Sunday lunch, we headed over to a shop called Space Out Sister that I had been desperate to visit. It's a beautiful lingerie shop. They've got a couple of vintage pieces like vintage robes and things. If you like that kind of aesthetic, it is absolutely stunning you must take a trip out here it's over by st patrick's cathedral so we got to see that one as well as seeing christchurch earlier in the day i did the st patrick's cathedral tour the first time i went to dublin so it is a really interesting one and i would recommend it if you've got a little bit more time in the city but for us we were only there for two days and we weren't really kind of taking the time to do proper tours and stuff other than tours of the the food and drink stops because our next drink stop was vintage cocktail club I feel a bit silly even bothering to tell you how good this place is because I feel like so many people wax lyrical about it and I'm just adding my voice to the choir but people wax lyrical because this place is so cool. It's just got a great atmosphere. You completely forget like it was a Sunday afternoon when we were there. We went back outside afterwards. It was still light and it just felt like we'd been in the middle of the night in like a New York speakeasy. It was absolutely brilliant would definitely go back here the drinks were phenomenal the staff were lovely 10 out of 10 recommend after our cocktails we headed to trinity college just to get one last kind of cultural stop in looked at those beautiful buildings and then really it was just time for a quick butler's hot chocolate which you obviously have to have when you're in dublin and then we had to go back to the hotel pick up our stuff and make our way to the airport i did bring some offbeat donuts home if you're into your donuts for me offbeat just pips rolling donut to the post but all excellent donuts but yeah that was the end of a gorgeous weekend in dublin i had a brilliant two days it was the dream i would love to do that just basically every weekend it was beautiful i hope you've enjoyed watching the video and coming along with us and i will see you in my next one bye